the last time I played this game, I did a lot. I, I finished up the Lucky Gazette Clover thing. I went and did the final tiers. Went to Lookout Landing and got that accidentally started and then uh, decided to avoid Hyrule Castle because I didn't want to do any more story at this point. Um, all of the phenomena in the entire map is mostly cleared out. Except for this, which I'm holding off to do until next week. But today, I wanted to... I think I... I'm good on most of the Sky Islands. I know that there is a whole maze that I haven't done. I'll consider doing that. But I've gone to the bulk of the Sky Islands. There are still some chasms that I haven't done. And still quite a lot of the map I have yet to do. Which would also inform me of what shrines I haven't gotten on the surface. But I said I'd go to Tiflo, and I spelled it absolutely wrong on my stream, so apologize for that. I just don't remember how to spell Tiflo. I'm human. I'm only a man. Alright, let's see what this guy has. Oh, all these new tablets, because I have all the champions now. Stage, secret technique? You're working late, don't overdo it, okay? I can't have my trusty assistant getting worn out. Should have told me that yesterday when I streamed for six hours. Oh yeah, I discovered a new monolith while I was exploring the ruins. It's right over there. At a glance, it seems different from the other monoliths. You should get closer so you can see what it says. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl protected by many dragons. Mm. The Owl, the dragons, could that be statues? There's one nearby that does look like an Owl. Should I look on my map to see if there's anything that in particular looks like an Owl? I think I'm going to go backwards first and then also only take out my dude so there isn't that much decay happening around me when i was looking at my footage from yesterday's stream there are cutscenes that do like two-thirds of the frame rate so they only show they only move on two of three frames, and this is 30 frames per second, so it's effectively running at 20 frames a second. I guess they did that for... For cinematic reasons, I don't think those are all pre pre done cutscenes. There, there wasn't anything that was rendered live, so I don't understand why they needed to. Only do movement on two of three cutscenes. Then again, you know, I didn't make- Oh, I have no more arrows. I had 200 at one point. I think I got so angry at that one person who interrupted my beautiful cutscene from the last stream that I've- I've wasted it all. Is this like a dragon looking thing? Why is he slipping when he has the- 
duck suit on. Oh, is this the owl? I mean, there's six dragons right here. I think I have to do it from standing on this. Oh, there's another owl. Too many owls. Yeah, that was the one. Is it Thyflo or Tiflo? Because I'm just going to totally ignore that the H out. This is what we get. We get rocks. You found it? The place the monolith was talking about? So that's where it was. Excellent work. I'll go and take a look shortly. Display the power of the Sage of Water. Done that. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Two dragons. That description reminds me of something I saw when I first arrived at these ruins. Portal between two dragons. Well, there's a dragon there, and a dragon there. Is this the corridor? Hey, buddy. Come on, friend. Uh, I basically have to look for something square. Because if I'm not on something square, that thing is not going to pop up. So it must be even closer. So this is one thing that was square. This is the other thing that was square-ish that popped up behind it. Is this the dragon thing in the front? Probably in the front. Yeah, there it is. Where's my bestie at? Come here, friend. It's so weird seeing Link with webbed feet, I must say. Really? Why do you think that is? Why, why can't I go up? So I couldn't cheese that, or...? That's very interesting. You found it? The place the monolith was talking about? So that's where it was. Excellent work. I'll go look and take something shortly. Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the Mountain of Death. A lot of dragon statues, but we're looking for one with a long body, sounds like. What's with that mountain of death part? Troubling. What if I don't have enough... I have eight. Count them, eight. Arrows. Long dragon. 
mean, Death Mountain is this way. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look to the right first. I want my sister out. <laughs> Intended dodge. Has this person being beat with a weapon that has 20 power isn't doing it. I just wanted his horn. As for the long dragon... Does this count as a long dragon? Bum bum bum... At the end of the long dragon. Well, there's two ends. It could be this end or the other end. Start versus end. And now there's a Korok. Aha. Come here, bestie. Show me your moves. I mean, is there anything special for doing all of these other than just getting the chests that pop out? Whoa. A second level? Paul. Paul. Where's your friend? Yeah, yeah I, I, I'll leave a mark for you. So I know you're here. If some of those Korok puzzles weren't so goddamn involved, I would probably do them. Alas, no. Too involved. Can't be bothered. Huh? My trusty assistant, you're back. I thought I could hear a loud noise from deep within the ruins. You heard that too, right? Mm. That was unsettling. I wonder what might have caused it. You see... When a man... loves a woman... he, she, it, or they... get a little excited. But it's down here, you say. A new slab? Oh no. Is it for the other sage that I don't have? I'm reading this. Hey! Hey! Hello! You there? Mm. So this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Mm. Wait, 
You found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it? Dare we? Uh -huh. We dare. Here, allow me. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Raru gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning... Okay, race car. The Demon King. Wait, King Raru imprisoning the Demon King? Raru is named in legend as the first king of Hyrule. And this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this monolith is no doubt a chronicle of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding. Let's read on. The great battle ended with the seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyruleans, loyal warriors all, who hastened to King Raru's aid as their oaths demanded. They are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule. The stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo throughout time. I see, in other words, this rune is dedicated to the sages who fought with Raru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterwards. That explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monoliths we found. <laughs> what a discovery! I'm astonished to find such a profound secret hidden in these long buried ruins so full of mystery. Ah. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's written on this monolith. Once my heart rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team base in Kakariko and turn my findings to a book. <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh, whoops, I, I completely forgot to give you a reward. Uh -huh. I could have never solved the mysteries of these ruins without you, my assistant. You have my thanks. Oh, please take this. And this too, as a bonus. <laughs> if you came all this way just to see some ruins, you must be almost as fanatical about Zonai history as I am. So please, enjoy these Zonai artifacts I discovered, mementos to remind you of our time working together. Now, fear not, since I'll be sticking around a while, you can come back if ever you'd like to talk ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trails. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. Goodbye. Dusk Claymore. A slender claymore thought to have been handed down to the kingdom of Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with the holy luster. Oh. How much does this cost if I ever get it? Do I have anything else that's opal? I have something else that's fire, so... Goodbye, Ruby Claymore! Nice. Hi, Jag! You never got it? You never finished Tiflo Ruins? Have I ruined the game for you now that I've been here? You think I could build things with that? I checked some of my old footage and I did collect the armor in Akala. Fuck. Link is dead. Link is alive. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. Nope, you love seeing new stuff on my stream? There's gonna be lots of that, and you know what I don't have? Any arrows. 
can I just freeze them? Cause I'm I'm terrible at at playing game right now. Like I'm here to to just game and chill and whatnot. But I think if I were to get into anything like hardcore, I might. I don't think I have the mental capacity for that. You ruined my like hammer. You spit on me at, at point blank range. You can't do that. Oh, he got a weapon finally? Good for you. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, nice crit. Hardcore? I mean, like, I don't feel like fighting. My, I don't have the brain capacity to fight today. All I want to do is, is side quests and... I don't want the stick. Wait. Can I put the Korok on a stick? What I really came here to do was think that I could make stuff. To get the Korok to come over. But... Those aren't pieces of lumber. Why is it on fire? Like, I just want to chill today. Like, I'm not planning to play all that long. Uh, that way I have some time to still get high <laughs> tonight. That's the, the true reason for, for living. Oh my god, there's a whole ass vehicle here. I don't even need my long stick thing. You know, given that I streamed so much yesterday, uh, but I just want to play the game. What can I say? The game is fun. Do I have enough Zonai to bust up my cross? I do. I'm too scared to separate it because I don't want the cross to disappear. But I'd like to attach my, my cross to my vehicle. So I can get a, a Korok. Oh shit, this is deep. The fuck? Where's my vehicle? Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, there it is, sinking. Come back. Oh my God, it's actually coming back. I did not know you could use rewind in like underwater muck like this. This game never fails to surprise me and never fails to give me frame rates um, that are questionable. So do I actually have to long stick it? Are my long sticks still stuck? 
Stick stuck. I could also bust out the long, wonderful bridge of mine. It does not reach. Where there's a will, there's a way. Come here, stick. Is it going to go back to the other side? No! What did Korok get stuck on? Oh no, wrong one. I need to do it on the stick. And do I have something to cut this little branch that it decided that it was not fun? <laughs> Thinking about it, I'm uh, I'm on fire. It hates her. Like, this is buoyant, isn't it? <laughs> it's not. Korak just drowned. I'll come back. Fine, I'll make a f a long bridge. Oops. Fiery trees. I hate destroying trees. But my solution to everything in this game is to build a long stick or a bridge and then to touch the goal.
There's nothing more pure than a stick. On a stick. On a stick. On a stick. I need more trees. There was one puzzle that I solved yesterday where I... I took the, the stone that it wanted me to carry all the way up to the top and I just recreated it with the Zonite and auto build and just put it on the target. And that's how I solved it. Because I was like, nah, I ain't doing all of that. I mean, yesterday when I tried to build something like cool, at least I thought it was going to be cool, uh, and then it didn't work. And so now I have to just give up on any sort of idea of like, oh, let's get creative. Uh, my creativity ends up in, in horror. Abject horror. Oh, fuck. I need one more log. Uh, today I saw people that I n know from high school because one of my teachers who taught history retired today. And so there are also a lot of his co-workers, my former teachers, who were there. And so there's lots of just some nice reintroductions. You know, I fully don't expect these teachers who've had thousands of children they've taught over the years or any of them to remember my name. Nevertheless, it was still... It was still really nice to see that uh, uh, what they are like in the context... Not in the school context. Outside of that structure. Good. You know, I didn't really interact all that much in the classes that a lot of them taught, so I kind of just, you know, just reintroduced myself, reminded them of my name, for the most part. What happens if I shake this off? Uh, just that part breaks off? Good. Are we ready? Crucify the Korok. Crucify the Korok! Thanks for bringing my friend. I really thought that this marsh was, like, shallow. It wasn't. Thank you, Blood of Christ. What the hell was I doing before? Oh, I was gonna go to... Kakariko? And say hi to... Taro. The game is also tempting me to go up. You know, I thought this game had four mazes in it, but the maze over here was really just pirates. Okay, no, you can no bark. No bark. Also, there's some caves here that I just haven't gotten the bubble frogs. I'll do that.
at some point. Oh, I have 121 shrines. Should I aimlessly wander Hyrule Field to find the last piece of fierce deity armor? Let's talk to Paya to see if she has anything new. Ah. Master Link, good evening. Mm -hmm. We must further our investigation. They have become a symbol of sorts. As chief, I feel they are my responsibility. That's why I've been borrowing books and learning from Taro. Oh. I'll keep researching ancient Hylian so the whole world has access to the thoughts of the ancient people. Thanks for your cooperation. Yeah. Uh, what's up? I can't stop thinking about the floating ring ruin. I don't plan on disobeying Princess Zelda's orders, but it's not easy to abide by them, and I'll tell you why. Each of the four ring ruins we're allowed to enter has a stone slab with Zonai writing on it. They're precious artifacts with records from ancient people about purported sages. Oh. There's got to be a fifth slab in that floating ring ruin with even more information on the sage. I'm beside myself on imagining all the details we might be missing out on. Yeah, why don't they let me go up? Hmm? You again? Hmm. <sighs> well, as we know, Princess Zelda hasn't been herself lately for reasons. Carrots. I need butter. Ooh. I want wheat! Where's the Tabantha wheat? Oh, beetle. Hi, sorry, there's a beetle here. Got ya! Let's see how good this uh, stupid thing is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen compared to five. So once I get to thirteen, I can press jump to get the, the max distance. If I had to climb in the rain. I wonder if it stacks if I also use... A sticky potion. There are... No, no, no gold. They're running away from rain. I'm lost again, aren't I? I'm gonna get the bubble frog and then I need to go and do the wells that I haven't done. And then the shooting star just fell. Cucko Cave. 
Uh, the, will there always be bird eggs here, or what? Was this not accessible before? Spit it out. Uh, I hit the rocks instead? Good. What if I hit accidentally hit that bomb too? That would have been rough. Oh, I don't want to use that bow. Okay, and then the last time I also found two new stables that I just didn't do, so that's why I have this mark here. There, there are wells at the stables that I didn't go into because I was just trying to finish up the Lucky Clover Gazette quests, uh, which some enlightened us about Zelda's character, which made the cutscene even all the more heart-rendering. I also need a massage. Maybe I might call up a man. I'm kidding. Oh. You? What do you where where do you go? Okay, I'll bring a horse for you. But after I do the well. Oh, bird. Literally just... Oh, did I kill the bird? Oh shit. There really is nothing in here? That's... Not common. But I I also killed a bird and maybe I liked it. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to take Jag out. Can I put a uh, harness with, um, scratch that. We don't actually have any saddles or bridles big enough for a horse that size. And I don't think the steed would want to mess, would want me to mess with its mane either. But if you ask me, there's no need to make changes anyway. Your horse looks great without them. Almost forgot. Actually... I'd like to take out another horse, not Jag. I'm taking out Wings. Let's see what kind of fun equipment we should put up. Matching, not matching. Let's do the Knight. And then the bride doll. I like to stay matching. And then... Oh no! I can't tow! 
Fuck that shit. I wish towing harness was a separate piece. Now it doesn't match. Ooh, so many different colors. Floral. Can't even see it. Yes! Perfect. What are you doing? Please don't do anything strange like that to our dear Breezer. Yeah, I need something to put on the back. Oh. I guess he needs help. Oh, I didn't see him at all. Over here before. Should do it. Did uh. coming out of his hole back here? Mm. I think I should probably give all my bubble gems to the monster parts guy. I mean, I can see him. <laughs> Do I have a recipe that automatically builds me... Uh, a towing thing? A wagon thingy? Wagon. Just the wheels. Eh, it's pretty good. That's not how a wagon works, is it? No way I'm not getting across. But you stay right here. My favorite direction to get on a horse is from the front because Link wraps his arms around the horse and swings himself around and I think that's just so cute. This game is really all about that kind of freedom. Especially like when you kick open chests, you get on horses, it's... it's it's a lot of of good fun. Pick it up, come on, girl. Hmm. Oh, it's you. And so early, I couldn't wait till after lunch to talk to me yeah. again. I love my horse, but she's not what you'd call fast. Think the god of horses could make her run a little quicker? Mm. More importantly, I'm open for business. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Look at the horse eating the grass. What a good horse. No. Stop staying on the road when you have to avoid somebody that's on the road already. Oops. 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 We did it, Joe. Look at how many Korok seeds I have, Jag. 123. <laughs> Are you ready to sit through 15 minutes of... of me... watching every single... Seed I present to Hestu. Not your thing? Go? <laughs> no. Nine. Oh, let me get rid of some of my placeholders. Put one here. Okay. I still don't know what this is for. Maybe it's a shrine. And then I put some things here. I had put stars on every single one of my stables to say if I've done that or not, because that was how I was bookkeeping. And now that I've completed that whole thing, I might delete all the stars from my map while I still remember. You cannot escape me. Cute. Oh look, another Korok needs my assistance. Where's the well? Oh, a kid I haven't talked to. Good evening, or good day, that's what I meant. Welcome to our stable! I'm sorry, I I'm nervous, you're our first new customer in a while. You're a traveler, aren't you, mister? The stable's so far to the west that we don't get many new customers, so... Did you come talk to me because you wanted to ask about the stable? Yeah, see, you talk to me anytime you need something, or even just because... Whee! See, this is what I was expecting more when I went into that South Akala stable well. Hi, frog. I'm frog too. I don't want to bind anything to these, these pure weapons. Is there a shield that's unadorned? Okay, this is expansive. Christ. Oh, it's, it's muddy. Guess they want me to climb? Or am I building bridges again? A little bridge puzzle! Is this what makes you horny, Nintendo? And then all those... Those lizards, like, leaping to their death. So earlier I was talking about this...
basically a semi reunion that I went to. And I saw one of my old volleyball friends, and we caught up. I was very happy that we had that chance to see each other, because I did not know, like, what part of the world he was in. And it turns out, he was in my part of the world. I think that marker is a bubble vendor? Bubble vendor. I don't know what you mean by bubble vendor. Yeah. This is time yeah. for horse. I mean, the, the bubble guy did pop up at night, but I still haven't talked to him since the first time I ran into him. Oh. Mm. Let's get Kathy Oven out. All my horses need their time to shine. I've named all my horses out of my... friends Ooh. in chat. <laughs> Like, I don't think Zelda used to have a gold horse prior to this. Didn't Zelda have, like, a white maned horse? Look, the horse is not even scared that I'm doing, like, fucking magic tricks. Horse is like, whatever. Do what you need to do. From the front. See? Isn't that amazing? It's it's a rock. Good job, Kathy Oven. Oh wait, I could talk from the horse. Thanks for bringing me, my friend. Hey, you wanna go help out that, uh... Addison over there? Sad. I basically always start with a flat base because it never likes to stay stable whenever I do these things. Anyways, hey Addison.
I watched one of my favorite streamers play a, a recording of this game, and apparently if you just throw any kind of hardy mushroom into a, a cooking thing, it does a full recovery. So like anything more than that that you add is just like bonus yellow hearts. But yeah, I haven't fully explored any of that. I've gone all the way around it. I know there's some holes that I haven't been in. Like these holes, so maybe I can go in those holes. I'm just gonna clear some of these stamps. While I'm at it. Oh, I marked something here, didn't I? And then I don't know where like the massive sword is. In this area. Person's like asked me to do it. I know there's a cave down here that I need to explore there and and here because there are there's just a light thing. You know, what? let me let me go from the sky. Like, I know I wanted to go and do... Finding the last piece of the Fierce Deity outfit. I'm just happy I got the full Zonite, Zonite outfit. I still need the pants for the Fierce Deity suit, and that attack up buff is kind of nice. This shrine is literally above ground. Not even like a cave. Oh, Link, are you hot? Well, suck it up, Link. You'll get air conditioning quite soon, Link. Or should I just strip him now? Yeah, Link. Ready to be naked, Link. I've not adhered to my diet today. I had a beer and I had a hamburger. Uh, later on I will need to eat some more. But I also kind of said that I wanted to go out to eat a little bit. Oh, it's a sphere that actually rolls. I was hoping to climb on it for a little, you know, fun. Little extracurriculars. Where is the treasure? Why did they give me a ramp? Found the treasure. That's why they gave me a ramp. Uh, worth it. So how do I stick these balls together side by side? So it can straddle that... This thing. 
and therefore not move? Or should I just stand on top of it and then have this move while I just enjoy the ride? Do I need three balls now? No, three balls are not required. Because you saw what I literally just did. I'm not connecting the three balls together. <laughs> the rewind abuse is some of like the most fun things to do in this game. I worked out today with my, my friend that I haven't seen in five years. Um, lots of people said I looked good or I look great. Um, and I should have just said thank you and closed my mouth. Instead, I was like, yeah, it's because I'm single and I don't have kids, which I'm making some people regret their life decisions, but I was trying to be self-deprecating and I don't know if that was successful or not. Mm -hmm. So like reflecting on that, I'm like, that is also one very much my personality to say something like that, but it's also could be misconstru misconstrued, misconstrued, misconstrue me. How are caves marked like this? So like, there's this whole thing that I have not been in. Literally do not know what this is. Eh. Let's find out. Bitch, where is your friend? Can I just like put you on a, a rocket, please? Oh, sister, we are not going there. Um. Yep, no, I'm good. I don't feel like taking him on a sled. You know what I'll do? I'll come back for you. Where are my other ones? Why do I have one way over here? I don't need it! I have this right here! Whatever. Sad. I'm like, do we need anybody else? When I could just have the best sage in the world? Oh, it's a enemy encampment. Oh, look, I've never seen an enemy encampment look like this, so I was like, I have to check it out, and we'll see what treasure's inside to see if it's worth it or not. Given that I said I did not want to do anything Requiring, like, my brain to work and for, for me to use. They patched up the eyes?
Ow. Why am I using the cobble crusher? Okay, don't bother me anymore. As for that flame boy... Did I get rid of my opal? I did not. Chill. Who else said do it? What, do what? Do it! Bomb it! Goodbye, Sand Seal statue. You were fun while it lasted. I can always get another one. Twist it. Pull it. I'm surprised that worked. Yes. Are they gonna fight? Do I get to watch them fight? Oh yeah, go off, sis. While you guys fight, let me bring this back up and see if it falls on you. Uh, it fell on somebody. Oh. The girls are fighting. Oh. Oh, there's a treasure down there. Oh. They stopped fighting. I have no more. Oh, I don't have any bows that do multiple arrows. A little excessive. <laughs> B. Here. I did a lot of stabbing. They had a cute little fire down here. And I murdered them. They even like blocked all the whole spiked iron ball hammer. Don't need it. Are you playing? Have you been playing a lot of Guild Wars 2 lately? Are you playing that right now, even? Can I open this? You're considering doing story missions instead of Diablo 4? One of my friends asked me if I was playing that, and I was like, no, I'm, like, too deep into playing, like, Breath of the Wild. This game, like, has me by its... It, the, the throat. Do you think this whole fan sled thing is actually going to get me there? Youth that event again announced 8 p.m. Diablo is something that you enjoy casually. There's a salmon rod, or a salmon swim up the the rod. I I I I love salmon run, and that's close enough to salmon run that I'm like, this is allowed. It's actually called salmon run. Oh. 
Well then, they're stealing Nintendo's copyright. Yeah, I'm playing more of this for, I don't know, a relaxed amount of time and hopefully not like a billion hours like I have been. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, I thought that was going to be a Moduga and I was going to... Freak out because I don't fuck with Moldugas. I wish I could put the Korok on a bow and send the Korok to its... Death. Oh, it is a fucking Molduga. Oh, sister. Think I can outrun her? I haven't fought a Molduga and I don't I definitely don't have the the bombs to do it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No, no, no. Now's not the time for a whole ass conversation. I I will say the Molduga music is the like one of the best pieces in the game. Next to Hyrule Castle. You're gonna become Molduga food in a little bit. Because the game won't change a context menu to control. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Let me mark this. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Every time I'm on a vehicle and I strike a bird, yesterday I was on a raft, and the raft hit ducks that were swimming in the water. And then, the water current brought the drumsticks to me. I could not have had more better entertainment. Are you cold, Link? I kind of wish, like, this whole outfit would work. Maybe I'll put on the, the hat. How do I tell them swiper no swiping? You gotta you gotta actually physically hit them. Come on. There you go, way to go. Yay! You did it! Cause I ran out of I'm running out of arrows. I'm not messing with that. Anybody want to go into the hole? Like, it's, this, it gives me joy that sand sinkholes are the cave equivalent in this area. And I'm, I know I've said that before, but... Ancient altar ruins. Are those keys? Do, do I have a rubber suit or do I have electric resistance? Because I, I don't feel like dropping things every five seconds. And I dropped everything every five seconds. What's the fucking point of shock resistance? Can someone explain? Is shock resistance is not the same as shock immunity? Where is... I'm bringing all my friends out. 
because I don't like Gibdo. Gibdo can get fucked. Oh wow, that's a that was very good. Good orb. Is there a whole ass treasure in here? Hey, bestie? Need you to are they spit? Other bestie. Get it on get it get her ass on the ground. So I can Unless this hits, uh, that hits. He was low flying enough. Bubble frog is nearby, up above. Butterfly in the sky. Oh, hi. Ow. Wow. You got got. By Unobo. Co. So if I were to like review the four temples. The lightning temple I enjoyed the most while I was in it. The build up to the wind temple was the best and in terms of boss fight i think i enjoyed can't remember which boss fight i enjoyed the most Well, that's that's probably saying that I I didn't have much trouble or issue with a lot of the bosses. I think the 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 crab boss was cool. Me getting trapped also cool. The the whole in the air fight was nice, but that didn't involve much, like, combat. In terms of, like, actual skill involved... I would say it was the... the th Thunder boss. It's like dancing, trying to like find friends. Meanwhile, I'm distracted by grabbing all these bright bloom seeds that I absolutely don't need. This place is so cavernous. Come closer. Yes. I did die a couple times to the lightning temple boss. And I guess I did. Well, the second time I fought the, the water temple boss underground, I wonder where the other opportunities are to do similar redux fights. Like, I haven't found where they are necessarily. Oh, I didn't even see that asshole up there. 
Feet. It's really stuck back here. That, this also means that there's a piece of clothing in here, given the these markers. They have put a lot of bows out here. Oh, fuck them up. Fuck them up. Oh, fuck them up. You guys can deal with that cunt over there. Good, good jerk. Good jerk. Good work. I was gonna say job and work, and it came out as jerk. So I guess I'm also. <laughs> hinting. Even though I've already taken care of that today. Who knows what my needs are, honestly. Yeah, fuck him up. Oops. I'm also very happy that Nintendo made the various temples extremely varied, especially in design, instead of having all the same shrine aesthetic. How many treasures did they hide in plain sight like this? Gerudo Scimitar. It's fine, I don't need it. Please, no jump. I guess we're going up. Well, how the hell do I get down first before to get before going up? Does this mean I need to follow some of the the statue arms? Or are they all pointing this direction? Or do I have to go in a specific hole to get there? Yeah, I think there's a specific hole I have to go in. Okay, if that's how you want to play the game, then let's play the game that way. They made a whole puzzle on above ground, below ground, whole play. I believe this is the hole I'm looking for. Nearby, down below. Below me. Where is the bestie? Are you gonna spit on me? Oh, 
Dude, that was the roughest fall I've seen in my life. And then they hide this on this side. Kick it. What goodies in here? Is it like a thunder outfit? Phantom Greaves! Let's see what parts I have of that. I know I have the helmet. What ought the helmet? What? Where is it? There it is. These two. I don't have the armor suit yet. Don't know where that is. That was nice. I guess each of those holes leads to the same place. I fully don't remember why I have that marked. But I still have to go into this hole. And then I'm supposed to look for a treasure in a stump in Hyrule. Maybe I should just build a vehicle. Which dragon is this? I'm a poker eye. I think I've gotten something from her before. I think. I guess a scale will do. If I can get over there. I could also hit the horn, couldn't I? Can I ride it? Wow, if you knock it, it gives me the thing on top. Oh, see ya. Nope. We're, no, no, no. You're good. <laughs> I can't believe there's just a floating thunderstorm around him. Wow, this thing is covering some ground. East Gerudo Chasm. Oops, that was a bomb flower. I have 918 of these. Excuse me. There's just a hole I haven't been in. That's largely the reason why I went through it, because I've pretty much done everything around this joint. Uh, I haven't gotten this. God. Or this. Is there a good hole in the ground for me to get there? Not really. Oh. The thing I marked is a shrine over there, because that is right here. Is there, like, no nice way to get there? 
That's the one thing about out here. It's a pain in the ass to get to these places. Someone asked me why I stopped my my gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077. I was just like, yeah, no, I got bored with it. The weapons that I had weren't enjoyable, so I just stopped. It's as uh, simple as that. Why is my friend not here? Is it because I'm too hot? What what is this whole like spacecraft thing? Or are these like parts of a temple that don't exist anymore? Like I could launch myself to space if I wanted to. I wonder if they brought the sand boots back in this game, but that that's where I'm trying to go. Was this like the lookout from a previous game? Oh. I think it is. It sort of changed though. It's a whole ass house. All right, you're good. Like, I think this was the radio tower from Breath of the Wild. It's changed. Like, lookout tower. This is where you start the... The shrine mission, the divine beast dungeon. <laughs> like, who lives here? I could sleep. Lookout post logbook. Gerudo Desert Lookout post logbook recorded by Sudri. The desert has been calm as ever. As I've ever seen it for quite some time now. No raids, no monster attacks, no bandit incidents. I should be happy about that, but it's my job to keep an eye out and report any events that are out of the ordinary. And when nothing is happening, I have nothing to do. But no matter how quiet it gets, I can't leave my post. I know how important this task is, but that doesn't keep me from getting bored. Be grateful for the peace. I've gotten word that this lookout post is going to be shut down. I was worried that it was because I hadn't been doing my job, but it turns out that that wasn't the case at all. It's actually because they are building a lighthouse to help Katakata Bazaar and Gerudo Town communicate better. The task of watching for anything unusual will be moved there, so there's no reason to maintain this lookout post. I hear the lighthouse will be gigantic and so that it's visible in the worst damn storms the desert has to offer. It's a bit exciting to imagine a beacon of hope shining over Karakara Bazaar that we could look to in a disastrous storm. Can't wait to see it in person. Today's my last day here at the post. I'm a bit sad saying goodbye to this place, but I've been asked to supervise the new training area being built at the Southern Oasis. I feel honored to be trusted with training our soldiers. It's a direct way to help keep the desert safe. I've learned a lot from watching over the desert here, but it's time to put to use. It's time to put it to use by teaching others what I know. Sometimes I read too fast. 
The fact that I could go through that tarp, amazing. It's not amazing is uh, Link not being able to grab onto ladders when his back is facing it. Yahaha! Yeah, ha. Where? Oh. That wasn't... much. Man, so many people are like, lighting. Is that the southern oasis? Yeah, I've been there. Bones. <laughs> Hi, Korok. Oh, I can go higher? Can. Girl, you can't get no higher than this. No. So these are like sky islands that fell? The Pufalki. No, I'm going in this circular thing. Is there a reason why, like, there's nothing in the sky because everything fell down here? Because the sage's magic or whatever they used didn't work? And there's a sinkhole. Goodbye, my friends. Ouch. Discovery. Quicksand. Lake Cave. Oh wow, you, you just got fucked right up. I was just trying to collect things in that that one little key got uh, gang banged. <laughs> Goodbye, Boulder Hammer. Well, I wanted to write it, but it's moving really quite slowly. So I think I just want to get altitude. And do it that way. I don't feel like writing on things. Is she above me? Oh wait, yes yeah, she is. Goodbye. Oh shit. Oh, that wasn't terrible. I kind of missed 
I'm not the only ones who've tried to shoot arrows at this thing and failed. Okay, you done eating? Oh, it, it ate one of my sages. Hi. Hello. You know how you confuse things to things that you find just in the open? I wish you could do that with arrows. Like, I see this bomb flower down here and I could just, like, take it for myself. Um, why is there no shrine here? I need to do the shrine finder, huh? thought there would be a shrine down here. I guess it's not down here. Hi! Please, let me out. Nearby, down below. In what hole? Anybody see a hole? Or like what could be a cave? I mean, that's a Korok over there. There's a Molduga running around. Oh, shit. Maybe I'll look at here. Yep, okay. I like how it's concentric circles on the map is a an area to spelunk. Ancient prisons. I don't like the sound of that. I wonder what's below the ancient prison. There's nothing. Do they want me to light everything? Good. 
Where's my big boy? I need you to light these things on fire. Good! It, they don't light. What gives? Do, do I, I not have anything with flame? <sighs> that I could aim? I don't want to put anything on my nice virgin swords. Okay, I'll put it on the master sword. They don't light. They're here as decoration. They're here to just fucking torture me. Master Sword, I just put a fucking thing on you and you're gonna run out of energy now? Master Unreliable, more like. This is a big maze, isn't it? God, amazing. Can you not? Stupid bitch. Hi. Go. Oh my god. This is like a, a whole dungeon. I wasn't expecting something this... <coughs> large... and uncharge. <coughs> okay, but the Gibdo bones that they drop are some of my favorite things to attack with because... Oh, you're- you're joking. Oh, you're fucking joking. I didn't even get to finish exploring that side. This prison is ass. I can't even lift the door up. I can't even rewind it. <sighs> Guess we're going down. You're not patronizing me from the here. Friends. Like, why is there a whole tablet down here? Also, let me turn off the sensor, because it's going to be beeping the whole time. I don't need that in my life. I didn't need that in my life either.
Hey, Claymore, you want to have some fun? Strong slab. Oh, hi, bestie. Like, what if I miss a treasure because all I'm doing is following the sisters with knives that point in the d direction? Cool. Is there, like, anything above? Oh. Oh. Nice. Not nice. Ah, yes, a secret door latch handle. Did it totally just destroy that slab that I put over here just because this thing moved over and said, No, you're in my way, get got. Your mother's a whore and your father's a racist. I didn't say that. You know who said it? Burt Bacharach on Celebrity Jeopardy in SNL. Did the shrine music always sound like this, or did I do I just not remember what Raru's blessing music sounds like? Do you like how that piece of object on the tip of my sword disappeared in this cutscene? Oh, that reminds me, I need to get rid of that heart on the second level. It bothers me. Do you hear all those door sounds? A lot of door sounds. Was this the initial hole I fell in and I didn't realize that there was a shrine on the other side of this thing? And this is the thing that dropped- Oh, you motherfucker.
I don't know how I feel about this old oil jar that's been in this ancient cell for God knows how long. Like, I didn't even notice half of these. Oh, that, that's the rocks I moved. Oh, I see. I see. Dude, you almost became... Like, cooked. I guess I fully explored this joint. I think that's where I came in from. Or no, this is another way in that I didn't I didn't do. It's not another way in. All right, we did it. I'm good with that area for a while. Let me do some silly things out in Hyrule Field. I have to look for the tree stump, and I think that might be it for me today. I don't know if it's easy to find tree stumps on the map. That's a different story. There's a hole here I haven't been in. Just me, don't worry, I'm just finding holes on the map. But have I been up here? I have. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, the pr little itty bitty problem. I can't look straight down. Somewhere out here in Hyrule Field is a tree stump. Not a tree stump. A bunch of monsters over here. More monsters. Oh yes. Fruitless. A whole monster encampment over there. Yeah, whatever. Have fun. This area isn't even named, huh? Do you think I have to look in, like, forested areas for these so-called, like, tree stump of treasure? What I don't want to do is...
turn on my shrine finder, but set it to treasure, and that'll that'll be lots of beeping. Too much beeping. You see nothing. Oh, this is... That's a tree stump. Huh, maybe it's big tree stump. And not like a little tree stump where you put a little Korok on it. It could be thick. Are you guys ready to nut? Oh. All together now. All sunken. Look at the cute little birds. Ancient tree stump. Holy shit. Very cool. I'm going to turn on the beep boop sensor. They're like fully targeting me with all these things that they're putting on top of these roots. And this is super cool. Like, every single one of these roots leads out to, like, a little branch offshoot thing, and my, my brain right now is stimulated. I see her. Daksu. I like it when Link decides to to swim harder into a wall. That's my favorite part of the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It's great gameplay, great awareness by Link to do exactly what I want him to do.
Dude, I just need to change my bow because he's not dying to that. Not strong enough. <laughs> the wind pushed the bubble gem away. Alright, where is the treasure? Spit it. Spit it out. Yep. God, I need to make more space. Why is it not saying that there's treasure over here? Am I too far away from it? Or it's just like a cool little area. Wow, this is intense. Like, all from a root system. Like, no wonder it didn't get detected initially. I just had to follow the... the hints. There's too many buttons to to set that up. <sighs> Yay! Fierce deity pants. According to legend, these boots were once worn by a hero in a world in which the moon threatened to fall. Wearing them provides god-like power. 
God. Fucking God, Link. Tree stump. Clever hint. And I'm glad I happened upon the large stump. Because there is a strong chance that might not have happened. And that whole root system was, by and large, extremely complex. To you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. Don the form and then return. Link, put on the suit. Huzzah. Jingle time. All this for a sword. A peculiar greatsword allegedly used by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It slashes wildly in battle as if possessed by a fierce deity. I have so many cool swords. Goodbye, weird guster. As for you, you have done well to solve my riddles and reach this place. The fierce deity swords is yours to take. Earned it. Can I go in that hole that I marked? Link, you must go in the hole that you marked. Make sure you enter it from the sky. Is that a... oh, that's a... What is that? It looks like a tree. Like a fucked up tree. It's literally a... A tree base, enemy base, just like extremely ugly low poly. <laughs> at the bottom of these. I mean, water. Wow, we made it. We 
we found some model butts. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no way in hell that I'm fighting that. Uh, but I can't really cross because uh, this whole river separating the areas. I just had to go in the hole. Can I do construct factory yet? My f Somebody told me that it, it's obvious enough to, to start it. Uh, when it's the time to do so. It's probably like not right now, but I've been wanting to do it for like the longest time. I have not been in here. That's wild. Let me just check the other marks that I've made. I think they're all, all the pins that I put are underground. Yeah, like doing a, um, this area might be a little cumbersome. This is like super deep, or so it seems. Or maybe that's elevation, but uh, I can't remember. You know what I haven't done? I haven't said hi to the people in the Korok forest in a minute. I, I know I'm supposed to stop with this game. Really, really gets to me. Whirly swirly things. Might as well get some things done. Eh, just checking some things off while I'm supremely distracted as per usual. Um, and then might as well spend the rest of my time oh oh so this is it it's so neat but I feel dizzy from looking at it thank you mr. hero but you know that friend of mine they told me something else shocking they said there's more than just whirly swirly things there's big swirly sand circle too swirly sand could such a thing really exist oh my god nope I'm not giving you more swirly things. We're gonna have Hestu dance. Yeah, I have 130 Korok seeds. <laughs> 10 Korok seeds. Oh no, this new row is going to irk me. I'm, I'm not adding another row to this. I, I have to do the other one. <laughs> 25 seeds. <laughs> you know, I'm annoying and I need a full row. So I'm going to do this uh, for the weapons one at least two more times. Oh, I also have to go to Lookout Landing to get rid of that one... heart that's on the second row.
45 Korok seeds? Oh my god. Doing too much. Link. Overpowered. That's the max weapon stash. Is this only 10 for shield? I did not know they limited me to 20 weapons. I would have thought they would have given me a full bottom row. I don't... I went from 130 to zero. Oh, goodness gracious. There's so much. What time is it? 5.30. Yeah. How so much. Oh, I also haven't talked to any of the people underground, too. That I definitely have to do. Because I, when I triggered this quest, I only talked to people above ground. I didn't go down under. But this also, this, this mashup of lookout landing plus Hyrule Castle is also brilliant. I don't mind listening to it again. The fact that like everyone's looking towards them too is it's insane. Uh -huh. Link, welcome. Hi. What's in this issue? Mm. Poro grieves at investigation. Cessation. Uh. He, yeah, he didn't reference this at all. Uh. You gotta hear me out. Bermano, the guy in charge of cooking, went to Hyrule Castle and never came back. Thanks to him, I'm stuck here forever. Oh. I'm on fire duty. When I say Hyrule Castle, I don't mean like somewhere dangerous like the chasm near there or anything. Specifically, he went to Hyrule Castle's dining hall. Some folks investigating the chasm told me about some super special recipe in the dining hall, so he left just like that. Uh. Well, he wouldn't do anything too dangerous, so I'm not worried about him, but he's the kind of person who loses track of time when he's engrossed in things, so I wonder when he'll be back. You think I'll remember to find him? What kind of crazy things has he built over here? Are these like greaves? Oh. Oops, evening already? I've been nosed down, complete lost track of time. Good work, Link. I heard you helped a village out of a crisis. Oh. Trying to repair the decayed weapons too in hopes I can help out too, but try as I might, I come up short. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Ah. I think these are like the various towns. But why aren't they like talking to me about... Okay, this is new dialogue. Hello Link and thank you for your hard work. Link, I appreciate you taking the time to visit Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura asked us that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. Uh. We're also overcome with gratitude for the assistance we've received from the Gerudo. 
All three squads are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Do I have to do anything around here? Uh, I heard sweet little Josh is recruiting for the Chasm research team, so I interviewed, but I didn't make the cut. Well, happier here anyways, better than dealing with that nasty gloom again. I had a really rough glow of it when I came into contact with it. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more, and I'd be canoeing down old Death River. Anyways, napping is gonna go back to napping. Good evening. Uh, Can't hear that frightening voice, but I bet the horn statue is feeling better now. I am shocked that they don't have any special dialogue. Hi, can you get rid of the heart that's at the bottom of my second row? Come to tamper with your essence? Currently out of your essences, are you in the mood to sell? Take a heart container from me. Pay me 100 rupees. Thank you. There is now peace and balance in my life. I wouldn't object if you gave me more heart containers. Goodbye. Then what are you still doing here? You. Tell me more. You can have one back for 120 rupees. Ah, yes. Friend. We stare at each other. Menacingly. Oh, horn statue. Alright, that does it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will eat something and uh, maybe sit on my balcony for a little bit. Have a great night. Have a great evening. I am out. Peace out, Girl Scout. And may the force be with you.